Hello fellow golfers, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. Did you know that your swing plane is probably wrong and you don't even realize it? And I'm gonna show you why it's wrong and why you don't realize it and give you some tips on how you can fix it. I'll show you how I fixed it for myself. So we know that our golf swing is supposed to come from the inside out on, on our forward swing. Well, in order to do that, we need to take our swing inside on the back swing. A lot of the modern teaching today teaches us that we're supposed to take it straight back. Well, you can't really take it straight back. And I'm gonna illustrate why here in just a second. One of the reasons you can't take it straight back is because our swing plane is actually inclined and it operates on both the vertical and the horizontal. Now, if our swing plane simply only operated on the vertical, it would be very easy to take the club back straight, okay? But it doesn't. It also turns around our body. And because it turns around our body, our swing plane actually changes positions throughout the swing. I've done a whole video on our rotating swing plane. I'm not gonna get into that now. I'm just gonna talk about how this impacts our swing path. So, modern conventional teaching says to take that club straight back, just like this. And if you did that, you would have to swing completely upright. And that swing does work for a lot of people, but what that also does is it detaches our upper body from our lower body and the hip action that we use to, to get our incredible power and distance. We wanna be able to utilize our hips. We wanna be able to utilize our weight shift in order to fire our hands and our arms through that ball and give us incredible distance. So let's get back to that swing path. Most of us have been taught correctly, I might add, that when we place the ball, I've got a seven iron here, the ball is never dead center of our body. It's always forward a little bit. With a seven iron here, it's just a little bit forward, a little bit forward of my sternum. When we go to the driver, and we tee this ball up, we are taught that that ball should be right off the inside or the instep of our foot, of our left foot. So that puts it way forward of our sternum. Well, how does that impact our swing path? Well, our pivot point is the base of our neck. What I mean by that is we swing like a pendulum, again, a pendulum on an angle, and when we turn, our pivot point is right here, the center, the base of our neck right here, right down the sternum, right along this line here. Now, if you're operating with a circle, then you know the apex of that circle is right here. And when I turn, anything that goes back is going to automatically go inside this line right here. And conversely, if I go this way, you're immediately going to go inside that. Well, if we have the ball placed forward, and again, our pivot point is the base of our spine, and we start back, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to start from the inside. We're going to move outward, and then we're going to start, we'll be inside, we're going to move to the center, and then we're going to move back. So the beginning of that backswing will actually move out before it starts coming back. Let me show you down the line here. So again, there's a line straight back from the ball. My pivot point is the base of my neck. I put my golf club here. Now when I start, if I simply just keep my hands from breaking at all, and I start back, you'll see I start outside first. It starts outside and then comes inside. What that's gonna do is that's gonna cause me on the downswing to come outside in, which is a slice swing. And that's why a lot of you struggle with slicing the ball a lot, is again, our apex is right here. And the only way to start inside, if we just keep our hands from breaking at all, is if we were to actually tee up the ball in the center of our stance. Well, we don't wanna do that. We want a driver, we wanna hit up on the ball. 
and we want to start on the inside, come from inside out. Well, how do we make that happen then? How do we solve this problem of the apex being back here and the ball being way up here to where when we start, we start out on the outside? What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Mike Dunaway, Mike Austin handbrake or wrist brake. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Move this back here. Now again, if you've seen my videos on the handbrake, the handbrake, we're breaking like this. We're taking our hands and we're breaking them like this. And then as, as this right elbow bends in our backswing, that's when the forearms naturally roll over. Well, if we start that handbrake right at the beginning, you'll see we start to the inside immediately. And if we couple that with our turn, then we're gonna come in to out on our downswing. <clears throat> if we didn't break our hands like this, we're gonna start outside first, and then when we come down, we're gonna come outside in. That is a slice or a pull. So let me show you this. Move that back a bit. We're gonna break our hands inward. We're gonna keep our right elbow tucked, and that's gonna bring that club immediately to the inside. And then we'd be able to just swing away, break, and fire. Now you may have seen how that ball took off a little bit to the right. <clears throat> I hit a natural draw. My ball will take off to the right and it will draw back in. One of the reasons it's taking off to the right is because of that swing, I'm coming inside out. So that will initially send the ball a little bit to the right and then it'll gently draw back to the center. Let me show, show that to you again. So we line up, we're gonna break our hands under, just like in, in my, my hand action videos, and we're gonna keep this right elbow close to our side until we get up here, and then we're gonna fire down in. And you'll see how this club comes to the inside, and then fires away. Now, how does that work on the irons? It works exactly the same. Grab the seven iron here. We're gonna do the very same action where I break my hands like this, and then it's gonna roll, okay? The ball is a little bit forward of my stance. I will break inward like this while I turn and keep that elbow tucked until I get up to here. comes through with incredible power, incredible strength. So you need to fix your swing path if you're having trouble with slicing. So now I'm gonna do it with the three iron, same thing. Ball, ball is forward, forward of center, quite a bit for a three iron. Then I'm gonna break the hands under as I'm turning back. And that will bring the club to the inside and then inside out on the forward. That's how you fix your swing path, which will help fix your tendency to slice. So go ahead and give that a try. Remember, your apex of that swing is going to be the base of your spine, right down, or the base of your spine right here, base of your neck. So what you need to do is you need to bring that club inside. You need to bring that club inside. Modern teaching will try to tell you to take it straight back. If you do that, you get detached from everything else. You get detached from all of your power sources. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button. Come visit me on yoursimplegolfswing.com. Thanks. Have a great day.